Okay, for those of you who are brand new here, I'm a naturopathic physician. I have a 25 years of clinical experience now in the delivery of science-based, clinically verified alternatives to drugs and surgery to the medical marketplace. Uh, about 10 years ago, for four years, I worked for a nutritional supplement company called Vital Nutrients. Vital Nutrients, like a handful of nutritional supplement companies, only sells to healthcare providers who are already licensed and regulated. So there are a handful, actually more than a handful, of nutritional supplement companies in the world who only sell their nutritional supplements to physicians or to uh, nurse practitioners. Amongst the companies, and naturopathic doctors around the world, naturopathic physicians around the world, have access <coughs> to nutritional supplements that you can't get over the counter because they're of such high quality and high potency. Now, for a quarter of a century, I've been working clinically in the front lines of private medical practice, helping people to recover their health through science-based, clinically verified medical nutrition. And after having had access and the clinical use to many different supplements from many different nutritional companies, most of which you can't have access to, you don't have access to if you're a layperson. I'm here to testify that uh, the products delivered by Longevity, in large part, are more effective than anything I have ever seen or used clinically. And I've seen a lot. Given my history, that's saying quite a bit. And I'm going to attempt tonight to explain why Longevity's nutritional supplements are superior to the nutritional supplements of everybody else. <laughs> I mean, somebody has to be number one, right? Somebody has to win the gold medal. So let's get into it and try to understand what's going on here. And in order to uh, kick it off, I'm going to play a short little video that hopefully will set the stage. I'm going to share with you some information that has changed my life. It's about an individual named Dr. Joel Wallach. He's a veterinarian who worked with the famous Marlon Perkins of the Mutual of Omaha Wild Kingdom. I think the thing that makes my view different on health is that I'm a veterinarian as well as a physician. 23 years of experience as a licensed physician dealing with people and their diseases. Worked on a big uh, grant with the National Institutes of Health and Marlon Perkins from the old Mutual Omaha Wild Kingdom days. Uh, it was a seven and a half million dollar grant. Did over 20,000 autopsies, 17,500 autopsies, and over 454 species of animals and 3,000 human beings for comparison. So it, it uh, gives me a little unique position in my training. One of Dr. Wallach's landmark discoveries was this. The more complex the organism, the more nutrients it requires. So we learned a long time ago in the animal industry that we could prevent and cure diseases in animals with simple little nutritional formulas. You find these in little alfalfa pellets. We've been so successful at using this technique over the last 75 years, we've eliminated about 900 different diseases in animals with nutrition that still plague people. So what are the results of adding nutritional supplements to animals' feed? Well, let's take man's best friend, for example, the dog. Have you ever heard of dog years? Experts have said for years that one dog year is equal to seven human years. That's because the average dog in the 1960s lived to be 10 and the average human was dying in their 70s. You know, simple math, seven to one. Today, the lifespan of dogs and cats has doubled, whereas the lifespan of humans is unchanged. And the only real difference is that the animals are eating a perfect diet, fortified with over 40 minerals, and the humans are not. And as a veterinarian, it always seemed odd to me that we would uh, use this technique for animals and nobody was doing it for people. And I lectured to doctors for many years during their continuing education programs, wrote scientific articles, some 75 plus, and um, I was never able to get doctors interested in preventing and curing diseases in people with nutritional formulas. And so I went back to school and became a physician, and since 1978 I've been using these little veterinary nutritional formulas on my human patients and I can tell you that the concept of preventing and curing diseases in animals with nutritional formulas works the same in people. Have you ever read the label of a can of human infant formula? Have seen how few minerals there are in it? Our dogs and cats are getting over 40 minerals and our babies are getting less than 12. It's pretty frightening really. I mean on that logic you'd think dogs and cats are more complex than humans. 
There are over 77 minerals naturally occurring in the human body. 77. 60 of them are essential for health. You know, the fundamental problem is the difference between vitamins and minerals. Plants can manufacture vitamins, but they're dependent on the soil they grow in for their minerals. Plants can combine water and nutrients from the soil through a process called photosynthesis to produce vitamins and amino acids. Minerals, however, cannot be manufactured by the plant. In essence, the minerals must be present in the soil to be absorbed by the plant. Another important thing to understand is that minerals do not occur in a uniform blanket over the face of the earth. They occur in veins like gold or silver and tend to accumulate in locations such as ancient riverbeds or glacial runoff where the soils from multiple times and locations have congregated. Well, the basic thing that people need to know about supplementation is that essential nutrients are called essential nutrients for two reasons. Number one, our bodies can't manufacture them. We must consume them every day either as a food or as supplements. Secondly, if we don't consume them every day, we're going to get, not maybe, perhaps, could, we're going to get many horrible deficiency diseases, many of which are life-threatening. The problem we face today is that our food is no longer grown in mineral-rich areas. Large farms that have been growing crops for decades are now depleted of these vital minerals. Farmers replace only what is necessary to make sure their crops will grow. Take a look at this study from the USDA. You can see that the drop in mineral and vitamin content in our food has been significant. We can see it in corn, onions, broccoli, strawberries, and many other fruits and vegetables. If the minerals are not in our food, we need to supplement in order to maintain good health. Look at how much we could reduce diseases if we were just taking the minimum recommendations of vitamins and minerals each day, according to the USDA estimate. One day, uh, Dr. Joel Wallach came to my office and um, placed a bottle on my desk and said, you know, these are plant-derived minerals, I want you to examine those. Well, so we did. And we found some very, very interesting results that made me really convinced that this is a great product. Not only does it contain a great many elements, it also contains them in a form which makes them substantially active. The bottle that Dr. Wallach gave to Dr. Schrauser turned out to be plant-derived colloidal minerals from an ancient plant deposit found in the pristine mountains of Utah, far away from pollution and human contact. These ancient plants lived at a time and in a location where more than 70 minerals naturally occurred in the soils and were therefore taken up in the plants that grew there. These mineral-rich plants, having never fossilized or turned to stone, have been entombed and preserved for hundreds of thousands of years. There are many traditional stories which have been told about these mountain springs. American Indians speak of the magical healing benefits they experience when drinking from them. Early prospectors included stories in their journals of how these waters helped ease joint pain and other illnesses. Modern science and manufacturing have been able to better explain the amazing stories stemming from these mountain streams. Bottom line, we need to get our minerals from plants. Doctors Wallach and Malan knew this and felt compelled to get this message out. In fact, that's why Dr. Wallach went back to school and practiced privately for over 12 years, treating human patients with these animal formulas, giving them the nutrition that they needed. And after thousands and thousands of people having positive results, they felt now they need to take this message to the masses. They need to reach more people, and they turned to the power of word of mouth. They formed a company, American Longevity, with the purpose of changing lives. In a perfect world, nature is supposed to work uh, efficiently and effectively. But modern agricultural practices have significantly thrown a wrench into the gears. And by the way, it's worthwhile mentioning that organic, uh, f ironically, right? And I'm giving a holistic health lecture, and I'm here to tell you that organic is irrelevant. Because when we classify something as organic, we classify it as what's not in the food, right? No pesticides, uh, so no artificial uh, chemical fertilizers, right? No bad stuff. But organic pays no notion, pays no heed whatsoever to the stuff that's supposed to be in the food, but in point of fact is not there. Now, in a perfect world, right, this is how it goes. We've got Mother Nature, we've got Planet Earth, We've got the rivers, and we've got the forests, and we've got the mountains, and we've got the streams, and we have the soil. And in the soil, there's beneficial bacteria. 
the beneficial bacteria that lives in the soil breaks down the minerals which find their way into the soil, quite frankly, which the soil is made from, and turn them into a form called a colloid. Colloidal minerals digested by the bacteria that's in the soil are taken up by the roots of the plants, filter into the body of the plant, and then we come along, harvest the plant, and in addition to the vitamins, and the sugars and the carbohydrates that are in the plants if the plants were in the presence if the roots of the plants touched minerals we also absorb the minerals now here's a electron micrographic picture microscopic picture of a plant root uh, with minerals the little white furry crystals at the bottom of the picture are the minerals and the long slender shafts are the roots of the plant so the roots of the plant have to be touching the mineral in order for the mineral to be absorbed into the body of the plant it's fascinating now the same way that the human digestive tract has beneficial bacteria which helps us to digest things well as it turns out the soil does too and who knew now here's the periodic table of the elements. These are all of the elements which exist in the universe that we are aware of so far. The elements <clears throat> that are listed here in blue, uh, 77, uh, are the elements that must be absorbed by the plant in order for human life to march forward the way that nature intended it to. There are 77, uh, 60 essential minerals that the human body needs. Um, and here's the breakdown. This is a fascinating slide. This information is fascinating from the proper perspective. Oxygen, carbon, helium, and nitrogen, four main elements, make up 97% of the body. 97% of your body is made from four elements. Oxygen, carbon, helium, and nitrogen. The other, well, 2.2 kilograms, 2.2 .2 out of uh, uh, 70, is not a lot. Now, the other stuff that's involved, which is about 3%, are minerals, major essential minerals, calcium, phosphorus, sulfur potassium, sodium, chlorine, magnesium, and then other minerals, trace minerals, that perhaps you've never heard of. Things like fluorine, rubidium, strontium, right? The list goes on and on and on. There are 60 essential nutrients, 60 essential minerals, 90 essential nutrients, 60 essential minerals that the human body needs in order to function the way that nature intended it to. I mean, there are some minerals that people have never even heard of. Lay people, vanadium, uh, molybdenum, right? Molybdenum, of course, is a funny little mineral, and it's essential uh, for the lubrication of nerve sheaths in the body. And if you become deficient in molybdenum, you will develop carpal tunnel syndrome. Isn't that interesting? As a matter of fact, you can trace all chronic diseases, 100% of chronic diseases to mineral deficiencies. And the fact of the matter is that the only place we can find minerals are in the soil. And unless the root of the plant is in touch with the minerals, there's not going to be any minerals in the plant. And if there aren't any minerals in the plant, well then, we've got big problems. Big, big, big problems. Two biggest problems that affect us right now there are fewer minerals in the soil than there were a hundred years ago because of modern agricultural practices and also because that's just the way that it is. Mother Nature does not lay minerals down even Stephen. Minerals are laid down helter-skelter. Because of pesticide use in industrial farming, the bacteria whose job it is to digest the minerals into a more absorbable form for the plant are not present in the soil anymore. This is not good. 
Doesn't take rocket science to figure this out, right? If you mess with the soil, and now there are fewer minerals in it than there are supposed to be, you get weaker plants. Weaker plants are less resistant to insects, mold, weather. So what happens if now all of a sudden you're growing weaker plants? You need more pesticides and more chemicals to keep the nasty little natural critters away because the plant is too weak to handle it. Kind of like going outside in a snowstorm with your bathing suit. That's not a good idea. You need to be bundled up to handle that stress. Well, in order for a plant growing in the soil to handle just the natural stress of life, insects, mold, competing plants, competing microorganisms, it needs minerals to be strong. Demineralized food, demineralized vegetables, demineralized fruits, demineralized grains don't taste good. So what happens if now you're growing and harvesting food that doesn't taste good? What do you have to do? You have to add sugar to it so people will eat it. Now, interestingly enough, one of the things that sugar does, remember, I did a whole video on a whole webinar, instructional webinar on sugar. Sugar is not the Antichrist. Your DNA is made from sugar. Sugar is the gasoline of the body. But too much sugar, which is easy to do now because the food industry puts sugar in everything just to make it taste good because the, the food is demineralized. Excessive amounts of sugar, the operative word being excessive amounts of sugar, leads to mineral deficiencies in the human body. It's a catch-22. It's a runaway train. This is the major reason why there is so much sickness in the world today. And nobody is talking about it except Dr. Wallach and myself. Now, I mean, you know, like the fella said, one of my favorite sayings, you're welcome to your own opinion, but not your own set of facts. It is an academic point that mineral depletion in the soils is getting worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. And this data was collected over the course of nine years from 1983 to 1992. Now, do you think the situation's gotten worse or better since 1992? It's worse. Now, here's what happens when you start putting minerals back into the environment of plants. This is, uh, you see there are three little plants there, number one, number two, and number three. Uh, vase number one is just water. Vase number two is a commercial flower additive. You know the stuff in the little packet that you get when you buy roses and you dump it into the water to extend the lifespan of the cut flower. And number three is longevity liquid minerals in a 1 to 100 solution. That's after nine days. That's after 12 days. And you can see that the, the cut flower placed in a mineral solution is much healthier over a longer period of time than with the commercial flower additives or with the water. The blooms last longer without wilting. The stems don't get bent. There's no discoloration. Why? Because plants love minerals. When farmers start adding minerals to the soil, they get a 20% increase in their yield. Sometimes they get a 125% increase in their yield. The produce tends to be bigger, tastier, and better. Soybeans grown without minerals, soybeans grown with minerals. Really, this is so elementary uh, that everybody has overlooked it except Dr. Wallach. Now, the big hardy mums <clears throat> on the right side of the picture were grown with minerals. The small anemic mums on the left side of the picture were grown without minerals, just normal plant fertilizer. See the difference? It speaks for itself. Now, agriculturists talk about something called a BRICS score, B-R-I-X. This is the measure of how much fructose, fruit sugar, is in the fruit 
that they're bringing to market. The higher the BRICS score, the better. You can see that every single time when minerals are added to the soil in which fruit trees are growing, the BRICS score increases. In this case, these were Japanese cherries. The BRICS score increased by 5.4.8%, uh, which is huge. Same thing happens with tomatoes. Tomatoes become denser, more robust. By the way, if you want to have a good test for whether your tomato is healthy, and I don't care whether it's organic or not, put it in a bowl of water. If it floats, it's not a good tomato. If it sinks, it's a robust tomato. Tomatoes heavy with minerals sink. Their brick score also goes up. Interesting, isn't it? Grapes. Know anybody that has a vineyard? Gallo needs to know this because just eliminating pesticides from the soil is not enough. You must put minerals back into the soil. If you put minerals back into the soil, the fruit is better. You get more yield per acre, and the sugar content of your fruit is much, much, much better, measurably so. Again, you're welcome to your own opinion, but not your own set of facts. Here's a comparison between lettuce, pineapples, tomatoes, and watermelons. BRICS scores taken at local supermarkets, and remember, here's a, with a lettuce, a grade of a four BRICS is poor, and a 12 BRICS is excellent. They took lettuce from local supermarkets and checked the BRICS score. It was a one. It was a one. Watermelon. Poor is 8, average is 12. Supermarket watermelon was between poor and average. This is because modern agriculture has completely forgotten or neglected on purpose if you're a conspiracy theorist person. The necessity of minerals in the soil. Now, let's bring it all back home, right? Fewer minerals result in weaker plants. Weaker plants result in the need for more type of pesticides and chemical fertilizers. Food doesn't taste as good, so you have to add sugar to it. One more thing minerals deficiencies result in. If there aren't minerals in the soil, there aren't minerals in the food. If there aren't minerals in their food, there aren't minerals in you. If there aren't minerals in you, you get sick, you suffer and then you die. All chronic diseases are rooted in mineral deficiencies, period. Now, healthy soil has this percentage of calcium, magnesium, potassium, and sodium. This was a study done by Dr. Albrecht at the Brookside Laboratory Healthy soil is 68% calcium, 12% magnesium, 5% potassium, and 2% sodium. As it turns out, isn't this interesting? The ratio of those top three, calcium, magnesium, and potassium in the body, is exactly the same. Exactly the same as what it must be, should be, in healthy soil. As above so below. The human body, as it turns out, is a function of Mother Earth, an offshoot of Mother Earth, no different than a plant or a mountain or a river. We're all made of the same stuff, and we all arc together in Gaia, in Mother Earth, in an interactive holistic sphere. The inner terrain of the human body reflects the outer terrain, the soil terrain of Mother Earth. We are inseparable. It's a fascinating concept, quite frankly. Now, <clears throat> in order for the human body to be healthy, there are 90 essential nutrients which have to go down the hatch every day. And the nutrient is considered essential if the body needs it in order to function properly, but it cannot make it. 60 minerals are essential.
for your health. 16 vitamins, 12 amino acids, and 2 essential fatty acids for a grand total of 90 essential nutrients necessary for your body to optimize its structure and function and do the work that nature and God intended for it, which is why longevity has adopted the slogan 90 for life. This is what it refers to, the 90 essential nutrients, essential nutrients necessary for life. And as I've just explained, it's impossible to get all 90 essential nutrients from food because even though your plant, your rice, your cherry tree, your tomato plant, your broccoli plant can make vitamins, some essential fatty acids, your vegetables and fruit cannot make minerals. Minerals are made by God. Minerals are only found in the soil. Plants and animals cannot make minerals. And because the minerals are not evenly spread out in the soil, as we just learned, by definition, this means unless you are supplementing with a mineral supplement, you are nutritionally deficient. And it is only a matter of time until something in your body breaks. So here's the deal. If this represents your body's nutrient needs in order for your body to be optimally healthy, it needs 90 essential nutrients. 60 minerals, 12, uh, 60 minerals, 16 vitamins, 12 amino acids, and two essential fatty acids. But because the minerals are not present, this is how much we have, and then we experience the stress of life. And now we're running on fumes. And when we're running on nutrient fumes, especially mineral fumes, things start to break. Now remember, 90 essential nutrients, 60 of which are minerals. That's 60 over 90. That's two-thirds. That equals 66%. The lion's share of your body's nutrient needs are not vitamins, not amino acids, not essential fatty acids, not antioxidants, not carbohydrates, not sugar, not protein. The lion's share of your body's nutrient needs are minerals. Calcium, magnesium, zinc, sulfur, molybdenum, strontium, zirconium, etc., etc., etc. Now, I'm not sure if you can read this chart. You can download this in your Longevity back office. This is the chemical analysis of the minerals which are in the Longevity nutritional supplements. 77 plant-derived organic colloidal minerals, 66 of which are essential to human health, C of which are essential for human health. <clears throat> now let's think about this. Your body needs minerals in order to be healthy and to function the way that God intended it to. The minerals are not present in the food because of nature and modern agricultural methods and because of, quite frankly, incompetence in uh, the agricultural area and, quite frankly, incompetence in the medical field as well. Everybody's body is nutritionally deficient, especially in minerals. Now, when we are comparing in the marketplace nutritional supplements, you can get nutritional supplements made by companies with extremely good manufacturing processes, extremely good manufacturing procedures. So you know that what it is in the capsule is exactly a reflection of what it is in the label. That's excellent. You can shop for a multiple vitamin. You can shop for 20 different kinds of essential fatty acids. You can shop for 100 different types of B vitamins and amino acid supplements, individual amino acids, groups of amino acids, stacked amino acids, multiple vitamins. But you can't get mineral supplements anywhere. And there is a gigantic difference from mineral supplement to mineral supplement. The recipe is everything and the source is everything. And this is the fundamental difference 
which separates longevity from the herd because nobody else's nutritional supplements have the requisite minerals that your body needs in order to function the way that nature intended it to. Nobody else brings to the marketplace 60 essential organic trace minerals in a colloidal form concentrated just below the saturation index. Nobody does that except longevity. And this is where longevity, this is why, this is one of the reasons why, Longevity's nutritional supplements stand out heads above any other nutritional supplement company because nobody has the minerals like Longevity has the minerals and nobody knows how to use the minerals like Dr. Wallach. I'm going to try to play another video here and see if it helps us to understand a little bit more. I took a trip <clears throat> to the longevity mine in Utah in order to look at uh, the minerals that longevity uh, puts in its nutritional supplements and I, I did a little video I hope it will play let's take a look at it right now okay so here we are up close and personal with uh, more of the mining deposit which is the source of the longevity minerals and we are going to walk up right against it now and take a look at the consistency of the humic shale uh, here's where it is see this I just pulled this off of the rock and look what happens here it just crumbles. See that? It just crumbles. Very, very, very fragile stuff. Pretty cool. It's interesting, isn't it? Now, Longevity has the mining rights. Uh, the exclusive mining rights to this mineral deposit for the next 100 years. Uh, and there is so much, the, the deposit is so huge, you don't have to worry about longevity running out of uh, the minerals, at least not in our lifetime. Now, here's a close up of one of the bigger rocks from the mine. This is an actual mineral deposit that we took off of the shelf layer, put it in a petri dish and let it, the petri dish had water in it and the mineral rock, it's called humic shale, it's a particular type of geological deposit, soaked the water up and as the water worked its way up through the rock like a sponge, the minerals came out. The minerals are all water soluble, which is interesting because when you go to the mine and you look at the mine, one thing that you will see, now you can't see it in that picture, at the very top of the mine there's a limestone cap at the very top of the deposit there's a limestone cap. The presence of the limestone for the last millions of years has prevented water from seeping into the minerals themselves, the humic shale themselves, and evaporating, running <clears throat> all of the minerals away. This is why Longevity Mineral Deposit in Utah is so unique and so different and so rich in minerals because the limestone cap on top has protected it from the runoff of water that other mineral deposits have experienced over time. It's a fascinating place to go. Really very interesting stuff. Now, <clears throat> when you combine 
of the mine with extremely high quality minerals and Dr. Wallach's clinical experience first as a veterinarian who published this book which is in the Smithsonian Institution took 12 years to write 25 million dollar project tens of thousands of autopsies, millions of blood chemistries and histopathologies. When you combine Dr. Wallach's clinical research into mineral deficiencies in animals and 30 plus years of clinical experience working with humans and the longevity mineral mine in Utah, you get recipes of nutritional supplements which are second to none. All wines are made from grapes, right? But not all wines are created equal. Well, what's the difference? The recipe is the difference. Longevity's recipes are informed by $25 million of federally funded research tens of millions of histopathologies and tens of thousands of autopsies brought to bear with 25 years plus of clinical experience. It doesn't get any better than that. And when you add the mineral formulations, the exquisite, super rich mineral deposits that Longevity has the exclusive rights to, you get remarkable results. And this is why Longevity's nutritional supplements beat the pants off of their competitors. Because of the minerals and because of Dr. Wallach's clinical experience in knowing how to use the minerals. You have to know how to use them. You have to know how to fly the plane. You have to know how to turn the car on. You have to know how to do things. And by the way, the cat's out of the bag. Linus Pauling said over 30 years ago, Nobel Prize winning Linus Pauling, you can trace every sickness, every disease, and every ailment to a mineral deficiency. Well, if you can trace every sickness, every disease, and every ailment to a mineral deficiency, wouldn't it be important to align yourself with a nutritional supplement company that had a good array of minerals in absorbable formulas? Well, I think it would be. enter into the stage Longevity. Now when Longevity was originally started it was called American Longevity. And before that I think it was American Eagle. It's gone through a number of different legal iterations but the method and the message always remains the same. In order for your body to be optimized it needs 90 essential nutrients, 66 of 66% 66 of which are trace minerals. I don't care how good the quality control of your vitamin C is, there are no minerals in it. I don't care how good the quality control and the concentration and the absorbability of your uh, multiple vitamin supplement that you can get at the health food store is, it does not have the colloidal organic trace minerals. It might have a couple of them, but they're not organic and they're not colloidal. Longevities are. By the way, you can absorb colloidal minerals, you can't absorb metallic minerals. So Longevity to the rescue. Longevity's product, Beyond Osteo FX, Tangy Tangerine, Tangy Tangerine 2.0, of course, the plant-derived minerals, either in the liquid or in caps, the Rebound FX, and a handful of other Longevity supplements. Ultra Body Toddy. <clears throat> All contain the plant-derived minerals. And it is the presence of the plant-derived minerals in the essential healthy start packs, in the essential foundation nutritional supplements brought to the table by Longevity which make all the difference in the world. But don't believe me. Clemson University did a research study a year and a half ago that proved the efficacy 
of Longevity's nutritional supplements. Number one, they weren't harmful. Number two, they weren't toxic. They weren't harmful. They weren't toxic. They weren't harmful. They weren't toxic. Oh, guess what? They killed cancer cells. Oh, guess what? It decreased inflammatory markers in the human gut. All these things are very, very good. Longevity marches forward with scientific proof of what Dr. Wallach has been practicing clinically for 25 plus years. The clinical application of colloidal minerals is a game changer. And Longevity is the only nutritional supplement company in the world that does it. Period. Now, <clears throat> When you combine ownership of an organic mine producing 77 colloidal plant-derived minerals plus the other 30 essential nutrients in absorbable recipes perfected by the physician who literally wrote the book on animal nutrition, there's only one result that can possibly happen. Success. It is the minerals which are everything. It is the minerals which are everything. And this is the fundamental, foundational difference that longevity brings to the table. Dr. Wallach has often been referred to as the mineral doctor, and rightly so. Now, who would you rather go to? A physician who doesn't know anything about minerals or a physician who knows that you can trace every disease, every ailment, and every affliction of mankind to a mineral deficiency. Who would you rather render the services of? But nobody knows what I just told you. Nobody knows what strontium is. Nobody knows the difference between a colloid and a bacterially digested mineral and a metallic mineral. Nobody knows these distinctions. Quite frankly, most people are completely unaware of the necessity of supplementation. Most people incorrectly assume you can get all of your nutrient needs just from eating from the four food groups, one of which we know to be a killer grains. Everybody in the world is misinformed, which is why everybody is sick, which is why everybody is suffering. That was the subtitle of my book. Everybody is sick, and I know why, because everybody is minerally deficient. And this is why our work here in Longevity is so very important. Because there is no nutritional supplement company anywhere else in the world that has a product that even comes close to Longevity's nutritional supplements because of the presence of the minerals. This is the big thing. I could also give an hour-long webinar about the crystals that the Beyond Tangy Tangerine are formed in. That was a breakthrough in nutritional supplement uh, manufacture. I could give an hour-long lecture about the nitrogen-packed essential fatty acids that Longevity has. But these things, although they are fantastic and although they are on the cutting edge of science-based, clinically verified medical nutrition, they pale, they pale in comparison to the mineral conversation. Without minerals, we're dead in the water. Dead in the water. You could tune your car up. You could take it to the best car person in the world. You could get a whole brand new engine and a brand new transmission and a brand new battery and brand new spark plugs, brand new power steering fluid. For goodness sake, you could go and buy a brand new car. Get it all tuned up. But if there's no air in the tires, you're not going anywhere, buddy. Well, in the same way that your car needs air in all four tires. Your body needs to be loaded to the brim with minerals. And if it's not loaded to the brim with minerals, it is only a matter of time until something breaks. 
And this is why longevity produces such remarkable results. This is why if you stick around in longevity nation long enough, you will hear testimonials that will bring you to your knees and make you cry. And then you'll be filled with some form of righteous anger, indignation over the way that medicine, the way that agriculture, the way that medical care is played out here not only in the United States, but all around the world. It's not health care, it's disease management. If your illness is caused by a mineral deficiency, is a pharmaceutical drug going to fix that? No. This is why what we do in Longevity Nation is so important. Because nobody knows what I just told you. Nobody knows about the 90 essential nutrients everybody needs to. Nobody knows the mineral story everybody needs to. And if you're a newcomer and you're skeptical, then I would challenge you to purchase one bottle of just the plant-derived minerals. It's $20, more or less, with shipping. One bottle of Longevity's concentrated plant-derived minerals. Take one ounce twice a day, orally, for 14 days, two weeks. And if you don't notice a remarkable, positive, measurable difference somewhere in your body, mind, I will eat my hat. Everybody's body is extremely nutritionally deficient, especially in the mineral zone. Most people have been running on 33% uh, strength for most of their lives. So when you finally get a clue and you finally pour into your body a nutritional supplement replete in absorbable minerals, things change. Switches start turning on that have been turned off sometimes for decades. Give your body its due, ladies and gentlemen. The 90 essential nutrients are calling to you, the lion's share of which are the colloidal plant-derived minerals, which Longevity has a lock on. I'm Dr. Peter Bidden. Thanks for your time. The proof of the pudding is in the eating. Get with the person that pointed you to this webinar and see which nutritional supplements uh, you'd like to try. We have many different health recovery packs. We have a healthy blood sugar pack, a healthy bone and joint pack, a healthy digestion pack. We've trained members to understand which nutritional formulation to start you with, which one your body most needs, which one is most best suited for your current condition. Do you need bone and joint support? Do you need heart support? Do you need lung support? Do you need skin support? Do you need immune system support? What do you need? Talk to the person that invited you here. They will point you in the right direction because Honestly, in the final analysis, healing is easy. Surgery is complicated. Healing is easy. Your body knows how to fix itself. Your body wants to fix itself. Your body is attempting right now to optimize its structure and function. But it can't do it without the 90 essential nutrients. Emphasis on minerals. That's what we bring to the table. And that's why we are now and always will be number one. I'm Dr. Peter Glidden, your steadfast advocate for health. Tune into my radio show Monday through Thursday from 3 to 5 p.m. Central Time. You can check it out right here at my website, drglidden.com.